So the idea of sustainability permeates throughout the plan, and this means achieving long-term economic, financial, or uh, environmental and socio-cultural sustainability. So we need to achieve long-term financial viability. We need to think big but live within our means. Uh, we need to plan for and adapt to change in our natural environment. And we need to build a city that is inclusive. Another important thing, and this is one of the community priorities, uh, is the idea of, of complete neighborhood. And I'll be honest, I, I, I have a hard time with uh, the term complete because I don't think that a, a neighborhood is ever complete. I think they're always changing it. And to me, you know, it's like you're saying, you know, perfect neighborhoods. But anyway, it's, it's just a term. It's, it sounds better than better neighborhoods. We're going to build better neighborhoods or as best as we can. Um, <laughs> And what, what the idea is with these is that we're going to have safe, connected transportation options for transportation choice, like Graham and talked about. Housing choice as well, access to employment, parks, and amenities for our daily needs. Uh, and, and also building uh, you know, beautiful spaces. You know, what's wrong with that? We all like to live in beautiful uh, places with quality design. So that's, that's another feature that, that's new to this point, and maybe one of the reasons why it's called design right now. So just looking at uh, that concept of complete neighborhoods, uh, this is an improvement from the former plan, the Regina Development Plan, which had some good intentions about what we'd like to see in neighborhoods, um, but they weren't fully realized. And a couple of reasons, in my opinion, why that happened was uh, that our policies weren't clear enough and they weren't strong enough in terms of what we want to see for our new neighborhoods at least. Uh, so some of these neighborhoods uh, that were built under that plan, they might have had ingredients of a complete neighborhood, things like uh, a mix of housing or densities, which you can see on the right, but often they were uh, missing a key ingredient of something like connectivity. So this was something to improve on in the new plan and the new policy, uh, where there's much more guidance on, on what we want to see with, with uh, neighborhoods, things like connectivity, focusing your, uh, your transit routes along higher density, and uh, this isn't a requirement, but um, the policy speak because of that connectivity, trying to get back to the grid. So uh, that's another challenge that I'm going to talk to you a little bit uh, closer to the end. So what's next? Um, you know, with, with policy, if there's no action, uh, they really don't mean anything. It's just words. It's just text. So implementation is key, and uh, there's a few key. Um, implementing strategies that fall out of that. There's the city's corporate strategic plan, which is really a, uh, uh, a plan for city, the city's activities over the next five years where, where they're going to focus um, uh, the city's role in, in shaping the, the community. There's also the transportation master plan, which is a detailed uh, policy plan for transportation uh, for all modes and uh, has the same life of that. Uh, that we see that were done in tandem. So it's, it's a 25 year plan. There's our cultural plan, which is a strategy for enriching uh, cultural life in Regina. There's the zoning bylaw, uh, that's the main implementing tool for development. Uh, and there's an intensification strategy, so looking at how can we meet that, that target of 30% of our growth coming from intensification. So now that the plan is uh, approved, it's really critical that we don't let it just sit on a shelf. Um, we need uh, people to, to continue to be engaged in this plan to really uh, ensure that it's realized. Another policy plan, you know, I can't talk about them all, but uh, one of our most recent neighborhood plan that was updated um, was the downtown plan. And it really envisions a downtown that's more walkable and more vibrant. Um, design was, was a big thing with this plan. It's called Walk to Work, so we really wanted to, to build it. Pedestrian friendly walkable uh, downtown. Design was something that was, uh, was a consideration in that plan. So, through it, there was an, an urban design review process that was set up uh, where projects have to go through this review. And this, so, this slide just shows an example of Hill Tower 3, and on the left was an original rendering. And then, once it went through an urban design review, uh, you ended up with the, the building that was ultimately built um, and then that zoomed in is, is just uh, the same. <coughs> Here's just another example, and this is Capital Point on Albert and Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as someone who is an avid Before and no after. <laughs> uh, kind of missed the planes, so I hope that they just 
build the bloody thing now? <laughs> That's just a couple of examples. So policy aside, what are some of the other things that that uh, you know are, are great about our city, or maybe we need to work on? Like, what are what are some of those things that we can build on to to lead to a successful retirement? And one of them is, and Graham touched on it with this slide uh, showing the, uh, the grid pattern versus the kind of the sprawling cul-de-sacs and crescents is that I've uh, heard the term uh, good bones, and Regina has good bones because we built on a grid system that actually makes it really easy to navigate the city, at least the core of the city that has that grid by foot or on bike. Now with our new neighborhoods, uh, you know, we're getting back to that grid kind of and better connectivity. So what we have is, uh, you know, we'll have a great core, the grid, and then new neighborhoods with the grid, and then in between, it's, it's, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to, to connect it. Um, so that's, the, you know, it's gonna be really tough to retrofit those suburbs. But the good thing is that some of our arteries, at least, act as a grid um, where we can focus our, our transit.